Good afternoon. What's up everybody? I am about to season up this chicken breast. I'm going to be using it for uh, the dish that I'm making today for Taco Tuesday. So, I combed my hair last night. I detangled it in all of my grays. This is how many grays I have, y'all. It seems like I have like a little head full of them. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let me take this robe off. Okay, now we're gonna put some olive oil on the chicken. And I'll be hearing what y'all saying about the olive oil and frying and stuff in olive oil. Y'all say that I'm only supposed to saute and I was here. Okay, thank you for the advice. I'm probably most likely not going to take it because, you know, I do things the way that I want to do them. And sometimes I take y'all advice, but sometimes I just like doing some things the way that I want to do them. And that's one of them. Um, the reason why that oil was bubbling up last time is because I had added that um, xanthan gum to the meat and it made it like that. That's why I had said, oh, this has never done this before. So that's what that was. Usually my oil does not do that. And I know that there are oils that you can use that have a higher heat, uh, whatever, y'all know what I'm talking about, that's, that's used for higher temperatures. Um, but I've found that I don't like those oils. I like this oil and it works great for everything that I um, do. Anyway, so we're gonna go in with some Tony's. I always say, do what y'all think in y'all house is right for you. <laughs> I'm going to do the same. Onion powder. <coughs> Cayenne. Chicken bouillon. <laughs> that much. Press it in there. Turn it over. Okay. On this side, what we're gonna do is, honestly, you could take the skin off because we're not even gonna use the skin. Um, our slits deep slits in the chicken so it can cook evenly and faster just like that okay then we're gonna go in with those seven seasonings We're gonna 
air fry this chicken. That's my favorite way to cook chicken breast. Oh my God. I'm trying to get this done early because I want to get my video done early today. I'm tired of filming late. <clears throat> um, okay, so this is ready to go. Just press those seasonings in like so. And put it in the air fryer. That's it for now. All right, y'all, I just made some pico de gallo. I haven't stirred it up yet, but this is just cilantro, tomatoes, red onions, and jalapenos chopped up, okay? With um, salt, pepper, and lime juice. Stir it on up. If you don't have lime juice, you can use lemon juice, you know? It's all good. But yeah, we got some fresh pico, y'all. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, y'all, are y'all ready for this? All right, so this is the chicken that I air fried. I just shredded it up, put it in a bowl. We are going to add a four ounce thing of green chilies. It could be whatever brand you want. It doesn't matter. Oops. Then we're gonna add, um, you're supposed to add half of this taco seasoning. So I guess that's what I'll do. I was just gonna add the whole thing because like why not? <laughs> but I'm gonna add only half. Since I already my chicken is already seasoned, that's the only reason why I'm adding just half. There we go. Then you're gonna add some cheese. There was no, she didn't say um, how much cheese to add. This is, what is that? Oh, that's my, excuse me, mozzarella. You can use whatever cheese you want. In my opinion, you can use whatever. Um, she used uh, Monterey Jack. I'm using Oaxaca. Cause this is what I have shredded already. Oh, no you didn't girl. Okay, we need you to open, girl. Okay. So I'm just gonna add, mm -hmm. remember this is the filling for your enchiladas. Yeah, that's what we're making, enchiladas. And this time, instead of using these uh, tortillas right here, which are zero carbs, zero sugar, all of this stuff. Okay, I got them from Costco. I'm gonna be using, y'all, should I use these? Or I was gonna use my um, corn tortillas, my low carb corn tortillas that I love to use. I was gonna use those instead to switch it up a little bit, but I might as well use the rest of these. There's only four left in here. I'm just gonna do that, okay? So anyway, you add your cheese. It depends on how cheesy you want it on the inside of your tortilla. Um. We'll go ahead. No, you know what? I'm gonna need this for the, the top portion of this. Okay, then you're gonna add a whole thing of softened cream cheese. This is the spicy jalapeno kind. You can use regular, you can use whatever you want, honestly. Whatever kind of cream cheese you wanna use, you can use it. I'm gonna use this whole thing. All of it, all of it. Oh, this going to be good. I just knows it. Y'all, it is an ugly day today outside. It's been raining all day. I don't know what the deal is. And Jaden has been on 10 all day long. I mean, on 10, honey. Sorry for all the noise. I know some of y'all can't stand it when I do that. 
Sorry. All right, and then we are going to stir this right on up. Make sure you stir it up good. And to get your cream tea softened, just leave it out for some hours. Combine it really, really good. Freaking yum. Oh my God. This would be so good on top of some nachos. Oh. I mean, God, that would be so good. Or just dip some chips and just like make it like a dip. Oh. Freaking yum. And after I put this in the oven, I'm about to go get ready. Happy Mother Flippin' Monday. Okay, this looks like it's combined. Oh, really well, really well. Look at that, delicious. Okay, so, we're, okay, we need to make the sauce. Hold one second. All right, y'all, but before we make the sauce, we are going to take our dish, okay? This is our dish. Spray it with some oil. Whatever kind of oil you want to use, this is avocado oil. Put it on the sides too. All right, then you're going to take your tortillas. Oh, please. Oh my God. Are they stuck? Girl, it's the last thing I need is for these to be stuck. These are my last four. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you're gonna take your tortilla. And honestly, you can put like more stuff in here if you want. Um, You know, I don't know what else you'll be putting in here, but you can, like some jalapenos, I guess, if you want to. So you fill them bad boys up and then roll them. You just roll. Okay. Just like that, seam side down, boom. Just like that. Can y'all see? Put as much chicken in there as possible so I have less to save. Boom. Just like that. Oh my god, I thought I only had four. I have five of these. I hope somebody else is gonna want some of this because I'm definitely not eating all of these. Y'all already know I'm eating right out of the uh daggone uh butch car casserole dish because that's how I likes to do it. Oh my god. It only fits, fits three. I think it's because I made them so they're going to be. Um, maybe we could fit one more. Let's see. I 
You could you could put rice in here. I just thought of that. You could literally put rice. That would be so good, especially for y'all that can eat regular rice. <laughs> I don't know about uh, cauliflower rice in these. I mean, you could, you could, but I don't know. I don't want to. Boom. Stick that mug right in there, stuff it. Yay, it fits, so I got four in there. Boom. So now we're gonna come over here to the stove and make the sauce. All right, y'all, let's make this sauce. So we're gonna put a little bit of butter in this pan. That's about how much butter she put in there. Melt that butter. Next, you're gonna put some flour in here. I'm just gonna use a little bit of xanthan gum. I hope this works out, y'all. A little bit of xanthan gum because I don't know what flowers that I have um, that wouldn't give it a weird texture, which is what I do not want. And I haven't like tested it out. I know exactly what xanthan gum is gonna do. So let me make sure I just put a little bit. This is what xanthan gum, ouch, looks like, okay? This one. Just that much, not much at all. Then you're gonna put the other half of that taco seasoning up in here. If I could get it open. Just like that. Stir that up. Combine that all in that butter and that xanthan gum. Then we're going to add some chicken stock. My chicken stock is this chicken bouillon powder and water. You don't need much of this powder to make something flavorful, okay? I'm gonna take my water, which is gonna make us some chicken stock. However much water you add is going to be um, how much sauce you're gonna have, really. So. I added a whole bottle of water. See, I got the light on. I don't know. Do I want to add some more water? I think I do. that stir that up let it simmer y'all i just realized that i do not have any sour cream you're supposed to add like a, a cup of sour cream but i do have some of this um uh, mexican crema y'all i'm gonna have to use this oh my goodness i'm just gonna use this 
dang, all of my sour creams is old. Jeez Louise. Stir that up in there. Hopefully it combines, Lord, please, because it's supposed to turn into a sauce. And then we're gonna add some cheese. You can use Monterey Jack cheese, like I said. Um, but I'm going to use Oh, here we go. I'm gonna use some of this Oaxaca cheese. And once all of this comes together, that's your sauce. And you're gonna pour that over your enchiladas. Remember to save some cheese so you can put it on top of the enchiladas. Oh good, it's turned into a nice little sauce. Perfection. But you want it to be semi-thick-ish, you know. So let the cheese melt and let it turn nice and saucy. And taste your sauce too. Taste it. Make sure it tastes like how you want it to taste. Make sure it has enough seasoning. It should have enough with the taco seasoning and the cheese. Cheese already has um, salt in it. So let this cook down, y'all, and I'll be back when it's to the consistency that I want it to be. Y'all hear that rain? Oh my God, it's about to go down. Anyway, you keep stirring. Keep stirring this sauce. This looks like what I want, okay? That consistency. And I had to add some more chicken bouillon because it wasn't seasoned enough for my liking. Turn on your oven to 350 and you're gonna cook it until the top of it is brown. All right, this is about how I want it, just like that. Mmm, mmm, that's delicious. All right, y'all ready for this? Let's do it. So we're just gonna pour it. However much you need on there. Pour what you need. Dang, I wanted to use all of it, but Got some left. Okay, make sure it has permeated the bottom. And maybe we need to do this to make it do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and put the cheese on top. You put however much cheese you want. I want my cheese to have a nice little crust on top.
right? Just like so. And we're gonna put it in the oven and I'm about to go get ready, baby. This is gonna be so good. Let me put this up so I ruin it. So I might start getting crema instead of uh, sour cream. Cause it seems to last a little bit longer than sour cream. All right, this is going in. All right, let me hurry up and go get dressed. What's up, y'all? What's the mother flipping deal? We are running late again today, but the enchiladas are ready and they're not like piping hot like they don't need to be. You know what I'm saying? They don't need to be piping hot. Let me get um my where my pico. Is it in here? There you go. I'm just gonna take the whole bowl of pico. I'm eating out of this. Um, what else, y'all? Do I need some chips and salsa? I probably don't, right? Like, right? <sighs> People be wondering why do I eat out of the uh, witch cop? Because that's what I be wanting to do. Let me get my Oh, okay, y'all, this is the fit. I just finished doing a video on it. If y'all wanna see it, just go to my TikTok. Um, I was, uh, this shirt here was the, you know, what I was supposed to do the video on. I love it, it's bubblegum pink, like who doesn't love it? These are some gray jeans I got from Fashion Nova. These are some um, like snake print boots that I got from, I think I got these from Fashion Over 2, y'all, but years ago, years ago, this is my first time putting my feet in them because I was not able to even walk in them, okay? Um, this belt was sent by this boutique, y'all. Remember when it, it was like, what, it was my first um, clothing sponsorship, y'all, that red dress, I don't know if y'all remember, um, and it was a boutique off of uh, Instagram. And she sent that red dress and she sent this belt. And this is just, I believe, my second time wearing this belt. But I think it's so freaking cute. I like the look. It's old, y'all. I don't even know if it's still in style, but I don't care. I like it. It looks cute with this, with the boots that match the boots. Um, and yeah, let's take this picture real quick so I can get everything else together. Wait a minute, let me turn on my light. Get like that. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> okay. Yum. Okay. Let's get it. Oh, wait a minute. We have some white chicken homemade enchiladas, baby. 
Yummy, freaking delicious. It's Taco Tuesday. I'm excited. We have some fresh pico de gallo. We're trying a new drink today. All right. Who's heard of this? Let me know in the comments. Do you like it? But we're about to see. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. Look at that pico. Pico de gallo. Yummers. 